So what you need is a piece of paper and something to draw with. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold your paper horizontally. So let me just flip my camera so you guys can see what's on my desk. My camera will be a little blurry, but once I put my hand there and a marker, um, it will be easier to see, okay? All right, here we go. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be drawing a more advanced type of gingerbread house uh, versus what kindergarten and what uh, first grade has done. So let me just give you guys a quick preview of what it looks like. So first of all, kindergarten, they did a gingerbread house where you can only see the front of the house like this. And they were able to add decorations on the outside and inside. All right, I'm gonna have to turn off chat, guys. I apologize. It's getting really distracting here. All right, well, that said, uh, that's what kindergarten did. So here's another version of kindergarten. It's kind of the same thing. For first grade, what they did was, instead of just seeing the front of the gingerbread house, first grade you're able to see the side of the house now so we were able to add two windows on the side and we were able to see the side of the roof which is really awesome too and then they were able to add decorations so here's another first grade one again you can see the side of the house now for second grade this is more advanced what we're doing today is that not only will you be able to see the front of the house and the side of the house you guys will be able to see the front side another side, and also the back of the house. And this is kind of like an L-shaped building. So if you were at like um, like an airplane or like bird's eye view, if you look down at the building, it's more of an L-shape because there's like a turn inside the house. All right, with that said, let me show you guys how to do this. And it should be nice and quick and nice and fun. All right, so first of all, you want to hold your paper nice and horizontal like this. So that means left to right. Side to side, not up and down, because you want to make sure you draw it nice and long like this. All right, as always, I highly suggest you do it in pencil. I'm only doing it in marker, so it's easier to see on camera. And again, if I'm going too fast, no. it is a recorded session, so you guys can always rewatch it. I have to go a little bit faster than usual, because it's only a 15 minute class. All right, here we go. So first step, Come I want to draw the snow. Now, my snow is not a completely straight line. I'm just waving a tad bit like this, but you don't want it to make it too wavy, because if you make it too wavy, then it'll be hard to draw anything on top of that. All right. Once you draw the snow, watch where I place my roofs, okay? One roof is going to be a little bit higher. So I'm going to go from this angle right here. I'm going to draw up. It's this high. And then as I go down, notice how I'm not quite towards the middle of the page. Or maybe I am. I guess so. I guess I am. But notice how I'm not too close to the edge right there. All right, good job. And then my next one, I'm going to do a small triangle over here, but look how much shorter it is. It's right around there. There we go. And notice how this triangle is a lot lower than the other one. Now, what you're going to do, I want you guys to find a place where to put a dot in the middle between them. So if I go from this point and this point, I'm going to go from this triangle right here, I'm gonna make a straight line going all the way across. So right around there, there's my dot. So notice how I go straight, guys. I didn't go up, I went straight. So make sure you guys fix that if you guys accidentally went up at an angle. Because from this dot, now we should be going up at an angle to here, okay? So watch what I do, I'm gonna go from here, I'm gonna go up. Okay. All right, next step. On the bottom parts of these triangles, we're gonna do something different than the other class. What I wanna do is I wanna create wavy lines in the inside of them. And what the wavy lines are gonna symbolize is icing or snow. So I'm going to the inside of these triangles. I'm making wavy lines, so there's one, and this one, I'm gonna make a wavy line like this, and here's two. If you wanna do loop-de-loops instead, that's fine as well. All right, I see a bunch of hands up. I will answer questions at the very end, sorry guys. I, don't, I just wanna make sure I get done with this. All right, next step. What you're gonna do is you're gonna add four candy canes okay this might, might be a little bit more difficult but watch how i do this ready 
So this part of the house is going to need a candy cane. So I'm going to go over here, create an upside down U, just like that. And then on this part of the U, just go straight down. And then do the exact same thing on this part of the triangle. I'm going to do an upside down U and make sure it touches the snow at least a little bit. Mr. Low, can you go a bit slower? Uh, yeah. I can, unfortunately, because I want to make sure I get this done. If I don't, then we will uh, run out of time. That's a good question, though. I apologize, but I can't. Okay, from here, this U over here, I'm going to go down on this line right there. Just like so. Now, to complete my candy canes, I'm going to start from a t on top, I'm going to curve inwards. And as I cur curve inwards, I'm going to meet back at the snow and do the exact same thing on the opposite side. So I'm going to go inwards, and then I'm going to meet back at the snow. Now, a helpful tip I'd be even telling kindergarten is to make sure you don't do completely horizontal stripes on your candy canes. You want to make sure you make them diagonal. So I'm going to go from this corner maybe, and make my stripes diagonal, just like so. And as you hit the curb or curve over here, what it's going to do is tilt the angles of those stripes. And then I'll make the stripes on this side opposite, just like so. And then as I get to the curve, I will turn them a little bit. All right, good job, everybody. All right. What you want to do is do the exact same thing underneath this triangle. So if you don't have enough room for this candy cane, I'm going to try to squeeze it in there. And I'll do another one right here. Notice how they're opposite from each other. And then they are a little bit smaller. That's fine, too, though. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I think my other drawing was a little bit better than this one. But hopefully, it turns out good. And I'm going to add my stripes, diagonal stripes. There you go. Try my best. There we are. All right. All right, we have about six minutes left. And I got to do a couple more things before I let you guys go. OK? And I will slow down once we get Can there. You record this? Oh, sorry. It is recording. All right. With that said, we want to finish off the roof because I forgot to finish it with you guys. So go from that middle point where it bends, where the roof is. So I'm pointing it right now. All you're going to do is either go left or right. I prefer to go this direction. Sorry, I don't know. I think this is left for you guys. I'm going to go this way. And then I'm going to connect it to this roof with a wavy line like that. And then I'll kind of just do like a wavy line to this one right there, nice and small, just to connect it. Looks so like that. I'll just zoom in so you guys can see. There we go. That's the roof. It's a little bit off, but it's okay. It'll work still. Let me see my other one. Maybe the other one looks better. Um, Mr. Mill. I really wanted to um, say to you that you're the best art teacher I've ever met. Oh, thank you. I think I'm the only art teacher. <laughs> Next, Next step. Right. Next step. Know, I've seen you're another one. one. I apologize for interrupting, but we got to keep going. All right. Um, it's up to you to decide where you want the door. You can either have the door on this section right here between these two um, candy canes, or you can have the door on the other side depending which side you want. I prefer to do it on the bigger side, though, so I have more room. So I'll do my door nice and big, just like this. And then I can add a circle about the size of, like, a quarter on my page because that's how much room I have, just like so. And then in order to make spiral candy, all you got to do is start from the middle of that circle and then spiral out. There you go. 
There is one more vertical line I forgot, and it's the one right in between these two candy canes right here. And the reason why we need a vertical line right here is to show that the house is an L shape. So that way this wall is facing like that way, and then this wall is like facing towards us, kinda. So I forgot about that vertical line. That vertical line is nice and important. All right. There's only one more thing I got to show you guys before you guys can decorate it any way you want. And that's the Utz pretzel. So the Utz pretzel is kind of like a window. I'm just going to do a square with curved corners, just like this. And then I will do four miniature squares in the inside of it. So one right here, one right here, and then two on the bottom. And then before I finish it off, uh, to make it look like a pretzel, I'm going to add dashes on the outside of the mini circles or mini squares to symbolize the salt on those treats. There we go on that snack. And there we are. So we have the pretzel window. We got experiment. Mr. Moe, when I said you're the best art teacher, I did need another art teacher. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to add gumdrops on the top of the roof, just like so. I'm going to go all the way across, actually. Now, that's all I require of you guys when you draw this uh, more advanced version of the gingerbread house. What I'm going to add right now is completely up to you. You don't have to add this next stuff. Some people add hearts above the door, like heart candy, like this. I've seen kids add circular dots in the snow to symbolize um, candy drops like that. I've seen kids add big gum drops on the front of the house to symbolize bushes. I've seen kids add trees in the back. Then maybe a triangle like this goes all the way back like that. Symbolize a tree. You can do that if you want. So again, I'm going a little bit quicker. Tree look at the tree. I've seen kids add snowmen, maybe in this foreground or in the background. Some people add a snowman head right here. Uh, it's going to be kind of popping out of the back. So because I don't have that enough room. There you go. Here's my snowman. And he's kind of waving. It's kind of like photobombing, I guess. There you go. And there's other stuff you can add also if you'd like. Um, so that's mine from this class, and here's mine from the previous class from there. All right, well, that's it. I'm going to stop recording. Uh, if you're not done or are done, if you want to share with the class, you can hold up to the camera right now so we can all see. Go ahead. I added a gingerbread.